So I'm 18 years old, and at the time of making this video, I pretty recently got my license. That basically means I'm a big boy now, and I can relive my days of following the traffic laws on random driving games for the PSP, but in real life. Having said all this, however, it's safe to say that recently, cars and driving have been on my mind, and I had this flashback moment where I remembered sitting in my parents' bedroom as a kid watching Initial D. So I gave it a rewatch, albeit it was only the first season, but holy crap, has it aged super well. If you don't already know what Initial D is about, here's your section. Takumi is an empty-headed high schooler that sort of just lives life on auto. His best friend is Itsuki, who is an avid fan of street racing, and they work a part-time job together at a gas station. Takumi pulls girls, Itsuki doesn't, that's the story, goodbye. But you skip a couple episodes, and what the fuck? It turns out that this whole time, Takumi's dad has been teaching him how to make cars go sideways. Whoop! And the story of Initial D is how he obliterates his opponents in the nightly street racing world of Japan with E's and P's. On the outside, again, Takumi is like this idiot, dumb fuck, fucking fuck this guy. But once you put him behind a wheel, the car revs up and the Eurobeat starts to settle in. Oh my god, this is anime. I think that initial D works because it does what it sets out to do. It delivers on that idea of creating a badass show about cars, girls, and pride. All things that people from the 90s probably thought were cool. I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm literally 12. And I would argue that these things are even still awesome today. I like girls, I think, and I glance over at the occasional Porsche every so often. And I have pride in the amount of hours that I've put into CSGO. I think that these ideas are relatable to a lot of people and you don't really need to know anything about cars or street racing to watch Initial D. That's kind of the beauty of sports anime. It's never about the sport itself, it's about the fr friends we made along the way. One thing that I noticed is that the episode to episode writing of Initial D is very well structured. I used to watch a lot of movies, so my monkey brain cares about this kind of stuff. There's this buildup for each race that usually lasts between one to three episodes, and in that time, they're placing the puzzle pieces that all eventually fit together during the race itself. And like, uh, if you know, if you don't know, I, I also really like puzzles. puzzles <laughs> the opponents in this anime are extremely memorable. There's even a guy that looks way too much like Leafy. There's a girl who is kind of just a girl, but she's also really good at drifting, and and that's crazy because girls aren't supposed to be competitive and like cars, what? This guy literally uses Desmos beep, boop, 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 to calculate the best drift line. All these characters are driven by pride, trying to be the best absolute street racer that they can be. And their identity not only lies in this, but also in this. Their cars and the way they handle them are just as important as them themselves. For example, this guy doesn't even drift and focuses purely on speed and power. The girl that I mentioned earlier has a partner that navigates her so that she can focus solely on driving. These characters and their traits and quirks are what keep Initial D fun and entertaining to watch. And while we're on the topic of characters, I want to talk about Itsuki. Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god, this, this is, is so scuffed. What is this what is this glare? Yeah, I think Itsuki wins the award, in my heart at least, for funniest anime character of all time. I don't know what it is. I think it's a combination of like the way he moves around on screen, as well as the voice acting, which Dude absolutely killed it. Every time he talks, every time he says words, it's just funny. Like, it's, it's just funny. It's crazy because I'll watch like seasons of comedy anime and I won't ever laugh as much as I did watching Itsuki in one episode of Initial D. I think he's just a really humorous side character and you end up rooting for him in whatever he does. Ooh, I love this part. Initial D. Has a piece of media ever meant more to you than your own family? Hi there, my name is Jingle, and today's video is sponsored by nobody, because I'm kind of a nobody. But maybe one day I won't be a nobody, and we can get a sponsor on this channel, like or something. So if you've been enjoying the video so far and you want to see that happen, make sure to subscribe and like the video, because most people forget, and it helps me out a lot, so thanks. Mwah. And this shall be! I love that shit. There's melodrama injected into every little crevice of Initial D. At one point, Takumi is forced into a gamu tape desumachi. 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 Where he will tape one of his hands to the wheel while racing and drifting at very high speeds. It's pretty funny and adds that extra inch of spice that keeps you coming back to the same ass shonen cafe. Another example is when the girl literally offers her virginity so that she can race Takumi. Yes, she was that desperate to see which car could go faster. In this world, it's all 
all about your racer pride. And if you're not holding it up, don't even talk to me. Now it's time to talk about computer generated imagery or CGI for short. CGI is weird. Why does it look like that? Why does it do that? That's just vile. Get it out of my face. Personally, I'm someone who hates CGI in anime, with a couple exceptions, but overall, I really do value that good shit. That frame by frame, <laughs> licking the screen type shit. At one point, I really wanted to become an animator and I would go through every single Newgrounds cartoon just staring at those frames, man. So yeah, I'm someone who pays a lot of attention to animation and when animation is bad, inconsistent, or poo-poo stinky bleh, I'm gonna notice, and I'm gonna talk a lot of shit. What the f- <laughs> I'm not asking for them to make a 12 episode Ghibli film. I think that with anime, it's all about being able to blend CGI with traditional frame by frame animation. For example, I think that for the most part, this latest season of Demon Slayer did it pretty well. However, I think that another example is Initial D. At first, I thought that this would bother me. I thought that it would take me out of the action and that I would never be able to immerse myself in any of these races, but it ended up not bothering me at all. I think that because the show edits itself around the CGI so well, a lot of the heavy work is actually done in your head. You're used to seeing cars in a 3D environment, so it's not the craziest thing in the world. And for me at least, the sound design and overall directing is just so good that I'm able to put myself in the world without it being fucking weird that flat Stanley is inside of a blender square mesh. Overall though, Initial D first stage, pretty good. I recommend it if you haven't seen it already. I've noticed that a lot of people have heard of Initial D, but not a lot of people have actually seen it. So if that's you, this is your chance. I'm encouraging you right now. Go and watch Cars Go Sideways. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter at 88 Jingle. I super appreciate everyone who keeps coming back to these videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.